Hello Leos, this is your reading for the 15th through the 16th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. What's going on for my Leos today? Hmm, children. Your love life is being affected by children. Hmm. Maybe some of you guys actually do have children, but um, this could also be an indication that maybe you guys are behaving a little um, immaturely. Um, both of you, whoever it is that you guys are thinking about here, maybe you guys have known each other for a very long time even. Let's see. And then we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Somebody that you've known for a very long time, I feel. Um, definitely a soulmate vibe I'm getting here. Okay. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. I feel definitely something coming in for you guys here. Um, the love of your life, maybe. Maybe they are already here. And maybe you guys are just not seeing it. You know, let's see what's going on for Leo. Four of Swords. Yes, I definitely feel that um, there's somebody that you guys are currently taking a break from. Okay, somebody that you you share heartache with, and I feel that you guys are trying to figure out like you know where you go from here. Because there's something that has been revealed to you. There's something that you, um, or not, some information that you're now privy to. And I feel that you guys are just trying to, like, figure out, you know, what to do with it. Then we have the Three of Wands there. Maybe somebody is waiting on you, or you are waiting on someone. Um, definitely kind of reflecting on the past, thinking about the future, what's going, what's going to happen, what can you do, that sort of thing. Okay. Page of Swords, definitely thinking about things. I don't feel that either one of you is talking for sure. I think that this is more so um, just trying to figure out what's the best thing to do in this situation. Should you reach out? Right now, you guys are just in this moment of um, waiting and observing here. That's what I'm getting. Hmm. Or somebody's observing you. Somebody that you feel strongly attached to. There's definitely a strong attachment to someone. And I think you've been fighting this for a while. Or they've been fighting this for a while. One of you is definitely looking at the other one. Or you're both kind of like... You know, observing each other. I think this is more of an observation versus like um, a stalking tendency. I don't feel that. I feel like this is more so, you know, is this a good thing? Is this the right thing to do? Because there's definitely a strong attachment here. Hmm. The situation has been very stuck between the two of you. Neither one of you is trying to make any headway, just kind of letting things be the way that they are right now and um, not doing very much. I feel like you are, or the other person, or both of you even, are in this, um, in this mode of contemplation, um, thinking about, you know, holding yourselves accountable for the things that you feel like you have done or the things that you can do better even. Okay. In the page of cups whether or not to offer um love to someone to extend an apology to just be open to communication in general loving communication i feel you guys definitely in this planning mode thinking about your next steps what should you do what have you done? That sort of thing. Hmm. 
the nine of swords hmm. a lot of you feel like you know this like this this situation cannot be saved this situation cannot be reconciled well you already know what the nine of swords is not the truth okay so whatever it is that you're thinking here that you cannot make this happen that um you cannot make things right this person is not going to accept your apology this person doesn't love you anymore all of that is hogwash okay so it's not true so don't allow yourself to fall into um, that trap of thinking that all is lost here because it's not a seven of wands maybe this person um, I think you're trying to fight off this this feeling and I think this it's also where this Nine of Swords energy is coming from because I think you're fighting with yourself whether or not, you know, this is the one or whether you should make an apology, whether you should reconcile or whether you just kind of, you know, should keep yourself um, away from this situation, try to go on, but still finding yourself very attached to it. A lot of you guys also feel like this person has blocked you out. Maybe, maybe you have no way to communicate with this person. Maybe you're waiting for them to open up. Hmm. Some of you know this person has blocked you, or either you're blocking them. You're you're blocking your feelings, and, and it's got you in like this this uncomfortable state. Is what I'm getting from you guys. Hmm. Queen of Cups there. Somebody definitely feels very attached to you as well. And you know, this situation you go vice versa. This may be somebody thinking this or feeling this way about you guys here. Um, maybe you guys have blocked this person out, you know. But definitely feeling an attachment to someone, feeling very drawn to this person. And if you notice here, aside from the Queen of Cups there, we have the pages here. Very immature energy. So somebody's being very, um, very immature in this situation. Um, not, not displaying a lot of effort. Just kind of, even the thoughts are immature, like... Um, just wanting to maybe not be wrong or letting someone else know that you know you made a mistake or and this could be the other person for sure I'm, I'm just saying this to you guys because this is your reading but this energy can go vice versa um, very immature in the way that they you know display emotions here okay possibly knowing that the other person is is hurting right now and want to go towards them but for their own security they're not so somebody's been holding themselves back from contacting someone um but just kind of watching observing but there's definitely someone here i feel that is um is is planning to move on somebody's planning to move on um could be a libra to aries individual that you guys are um, thinking about could be Cancer, Pisces, maybe Gemini individual. Um, but there's definitely somebody here that then I cut the deck and there's a Six of Cups there. This is like a past life relationship, you guys. Just gonna put that out there. Somebody that you've known for a long time. Okay. This person's very mothering. Okay, or either you are. Hmm. This person is very loving, very, very loving. Um, has deep emotions, like their emotions really, truly run deep. This is the kind of person that loves unconditionally. Okay, loves unconditionally, and they don't even know why. That is this person. And this could definitely be you guys. This person loves unconditionally. And it's almost like they struggle to dislike people. 
they struggle with that because they feel like, you know, when people hurt them, that there should be something there that makes them dislike the person. But mm -mm, they look past it. They look past it. They see right through it, wherever this is, okay? Cancer Pisces again, man. I feel Aries, Cancer, Pisces, strong in this reading. Uh, maybe Gemini. Let's see. Six of Wands and the Lovers. There we have it. Leo Gemini. Leo Gemini. I see you guys having this successful love affair. This successful union. I'm feeling that you guys are going towards this person, Leo. So, I'm feeling strong, like Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, um, Aries, Libra. It's very strong in your reading. Um, they may have Capricorn in their chart, but there is definitely this very strong connection to this individual. Not just sexual attraction. There is something that's drawing you to them and you know it. Okay, and it's not just sexual. This is somebody that you feel like you guys are meant to be. Um, there's something that has gotten away here, but um, I think you're taking a pause right now because you're really trying to figure this thing out. I think you want to see like some some solid facts, but you know you're not gonna have any solid facts. That's where your intuition comes in, at guys. Okay, so use your intuition on this one. Um, this page of swords and this page of cups energy um, let's step it up if this is you let's step this up and because um, this person is definitely worth it I do feel and you know it okay so that's what I have for you and I will be speaking with you guys soon